Hey, Don here. Okay. Uh, well, I was getting ready to call my pharmacy to order my medicine, and I thought I'd uh, open up, you know, their website. And look at there to get the phone number to call them so I can see it's bigger than on the bottle, you know. But uh, there, I have a few links. I have some links I'd saved, and this is the one. Let's see, what does it say? Oh, it's just laurasphormacy.com. It came up with the warning. Now, you know, sometimes it's just because the certificate is old. It's not, hadn't been renewed. Uh, but this is a site where they actually let you order online, which I don't do. I just call them. Uh, oddly, I like to order everything, but this place here, I'd rather talk to them, you know, just call them. It works, seems to work out better. Well, and there's all kinds of, I think you have to sign up and do stuff that I didn't want to fool with. But anyway, um, so let's go to the more information page. Um, <clears throat> Uh, the Firefox support page when it decides to come in here. You'd think with 200 megabits you wouldn't have any trouble with pages loading, but sometimes they're just as slow as they were when I, slower than they were when I started, first started with charter cable with three megabits. All the junk they put on the pages and work the machines too hard is the biggest, I think the biggest problem. Anyway, <clears throat> um, I'm not going to read all this out. Need a certificate. Um, uh, uh, that's valid, uh, strong enough encryption for your privacy, and uh, and it uh, also is just supposed to help you know that you're actually not on a fake site, that you're on the actual real site that hasn't been redirected somehow or something. So see, this site, for all you know, it could have been hacked. Uh, it's not even the real site. So if you were going to buy online, I would not do it if you see one of these. Doesn't matter if you know the people and they live in your town like this, you know, this is a little business in my town. Those are the ones that can get attacked easy because they don't have big, you know, support infrastructure like, you know, Walmart or Amazon or whatever. Um, they're the most likely ones to get hacked. Um, so let's see. This is all, the, I've read this stuff over and over over the years and I, I'm, I'm not going to go through it all right now, but anyway. Thought if I saw something, yeah, expired certificate, expired issuer certificate. Uh, sometimes I've gotten this on my own site because I'm not paying for no certificate because I don't have anything on there but just the website. Well, I do have my music downloads, but I don't have any payment systems. I'm not take gather anybody's information or anything like that. You can download the MP3s for free of my music, but. Uh, um, and if you make your own certificate, you know, then uh, it'll still give you the one of these because it's not verified by VeriSign or somebody like that where you got to pay to get them to verify. So uh, it's a it's a good thing and it's an aggravating thing this this whole this whole thing here. But definitely when you're doing a shop, I would I would err on the side of caution. I would not even if you, if it's not anything wrong with it. You don't know unless you're the one running that website and you know everything how it's set up. You don't know. Uh, SSL error. There's all the different types of uh, errors that you might get. So, and of course, there's lots and lots to read about it, but uh, I'm going to do that right now. Um, and you, what you do if you know that it's uh, safe, um, Let's go to my let's see. Let's go to my website and see if anything comes up on it. I don't think it will. It hasn't. Uh as long as you let's see, I forgot what I did. See, nothing's coming up on here. This is my music website, um, donsongs.com, but it redirects to my uh, bishopco.com domain. Because it caught you know, and it's on my own server. Uh well, setting up here on my desk. So uh so I've dealt with this stuff for years. I've been running the ser my own server since, I don't know now, uh, probably 06 or something like that. So, uh, yeah, see if you right click on one of these to the, and download it, that's what I was talking about, one of my music files. Or you can just click them on and play them or you can right click and say save as. But see, I'm not getting one of those errors. <coughs> um, 
and I'm running Fedora 29 web server and it does build such set up certificates automatically for you. So it does uh, do that. So it could be because Fedora, Fedora might have went ahead and signed up uh, and, and set that up for you, you know, for everybody to be able to use. There are some free open source certificate outfits out there. They might have done something like that. Because I used to have, it would be on and off. Sometimes you'd get that. Actually, as long as you didn't use HTTPS, you were fine. But if you try to use HTTPS, I'd get one of these on my own site. And I was like, really? So for years, I didn't even use HTTPS. But I am using it now. That wasn't HTTPS. Let's see. Well, let's go back to that page I was on, let's see, history, there we go, okay, so let's change it to HTTPS and see if I get anything, ah, see, now we're getting one on my site, so, and I know there's nothing wrong with my site, and there wouldn't be no risk anyway, because like I said, you're not exchanging money or anything. So if you go to the advanced, I thought I'd do that on here. So, <clears throat> yeah, see, see, I probably should turn off uh, HTTPS altogether. But see, some, well, some browsers won't go to a site unless it is HTTPS too. So that's why I went ahead and turned it all on, uh, on mine and set it, and, uh, like I said, it was easy, it was automatic anyway, but in the Fedora server, but you have to open up your, uh, the uh, HTTPS port on your router, uh, not just port 80, but I forgot what the port is now, but, okay, the identity of the certificate does not trust the site because it uses a certificate that is not valid for bishopcode.com. The certificate is only valid for bishopcoacer.localdomain. That's my uh, that's my server, which is actually my Acer laptop. Yeah, so um, I might be able to fix that if I do some studying. I probably need to set go in there and make a certificate for bishopco.com and probably donaldsalls.com and all the others, and then maybe I wouldn't end up having that. So, uh, and what I always do on my, uh, you know, I hit accept the risk and continue and but I don't ever turn off the reporting. But uh, yeah, that's actually interesting for myself. No, um, I haven't. It is pretty pain, uh, complicated and a pain in the butt. Uh, you know, it's. Uh, I went ahead, like I said, <clears throat> when Fedora Server came out. I hit. I'm trying to get a screenshot of that. When Fedora Server came out, I. Uh, I'm gonna hold. I'm gonna. Put that in a bookmark too. Let's see. My machine is running like crap right now, and I'm not. My backup's finished running and everything. I shouldn't be having trouble. There we go. I think I'm going to just. Uh, and you can view the certificate if you click on that. I'm going to hold down control and click on it so it'll open up in another O. Oh, and since it's a JavaScript, they're using Java for that, then it's not uh, probably not going to work. There it is. It did work. So here's the certificate, Bishop Co. Uh, Bishop Co. Acer user local domain. And see, I didn't have to go in there in the command line and set all this up. Uh, Fedora did it for me. I just clicked the right. Uh, I don't know, maybe by default. I may not have even had to tell it to do that. I think it was defaulted to set this up. But what I need to do, I know I've seen it before, you know, you have to find the right commands and make a, I'd have to, I, what's what I need to do is make a certificate for bishopco.com and every other domain that I have on there probably. Well, the only one that's, I'd have to figure it all out exactly how to do it because I'm having my domains, um, you know, my other domains just forward to bishopco.com. But uh, then there's more information about the, you know, all of it right there. But um, <coughs> <coughs> so yeah, that's something I probably should do. Um, because if anybody does go there to HTTPS, they're just going to back right back out of it. They're not going to go. You know, they're going to think, oh no. Uh, I would, you know. So, uh, 
uh, some, you know, you can set your browser and tell it don't go to any site, just regular HTTP. Uh, it needs to be a secure socket layer, so HTTPS. More and more uh, browsers are, I didn't do anything to mine to tell it, not my web browser Firefox to tell it not to do that, but there's a lot of browsers, probably phones especially maybe wouldn't uh, wouldn't go there. So that's what you would see. I didn't want to click on this and lose my spot, but uh, I think I already got the... F <clears throat> okay, so, uh, well, you can, like I said, you can do the... Let's see what their certificate is. Oh, let's see what the error is. Okay, I just held down control and clicked that, and it just popped it up down below. Website and their identity certificates does not trust this site because the user certificate is not valid for lowerspharmacy.com. The certificate is only valid for the following names. Shorteners.secureServer.net. Shorteners.secureServer.net. Yeah, see, so they've got uh, <clears throat> kind of the same situation as mine, only uh, that would really freak you out. Um, you know, that's a completely different domain, right? Except for, I think I know exactly what secureserver.net is. I think that's GoDaddy, because that's where I get my domain names. So let's open up a, another tab. I said let's open up another tab. I guess I just didn't hit the button that time. Search. I think we'll see that it goes to GoDaddy. Webmail. That's that's what uh, your GoDaddy webmail goes to. So uh, I wanted to see. Yeah, it's all about webmail and stuff. There we go. Let's go to the Who Is page. I don't want to just click on one. <clears throat> I mean, if it is malicious, it turns out I don't want to just go to it. Uh, even if you're running Linux, you still can get hit. Uh, Wild West domains still might be to do with GoDaddy. Let's see. Doesn't say anything about GoDaddy. Um, maybe they use. I don't know. I'm almost certain. I'd have to go log in to dig into it anymore. I'd have to go log in to GoDaddy and. Uh, but I, I'm I'm just like, maybe they um, split it off or something over the years. But SecureServer.net is who I, where I where my email one of my GoDaddy email addresses for my websites and stuff that you get along with your domain name. That's. Um, I just thought, let's see, I'm going to, uh, yeah, okay, here's what we'll do. I'm just going to put that in. Pharmacy, not that one, floors. They moved their pharmacy to all the old addresses and web. So everything's changed over the last few years. So anyway. Okay. Um, I'm going to do that. That'll do. Okay, now, <clears throat> so I'm not going to keep going into that because all I want is the phone number, you know, it's on my bottles of medicine and everything. But I just thought I'd go ahead and put this on a video and because uh, this, is a, this is an important thing to watch out for, but it's also a confusing thing that it may not be a real problem. But for, you know, me, even though I kind of, under, kind of understand all this uh, to a certain extent, having... I had to deal with it running my own websites for, and servers for years. Um, it's still really complicated stuff. And, you know, like I said, unless you're the person running a s server, the admin of it, not just the 
you know, the uh, like if you're the you hired somebody, you know, you have your pharmacy and you you hired somebody to set you up a website. Unless you're the uh, per, unless you're running your own like I am, you know, then uh, you're either gonna have to figure it out or hire somebody to get it and get it done and get it done right. When you're dealing with uh, you know taking payments on your website, this is the last thing you want. <clears throat> so. Uh, uh, view certificate, let's do that. Shortener secure server.net. Yeah, that's really weird. Uh, you know, when shortener URL shorteners first came out, they were they, they was a rash of uh exploits to do with shorteners, and I still don't trust shorteners. Everybody uses them even more than ever now. Uh, Google uses them. Um, There's a whole nother name down there, Starfield Tech Repository. It's just all over the place. So uh, <clears throat> it doesn't say an expired certificate. A lot of times you'll say it's an expired certificate. And then you can feel a little safer that, you know, that it's not actually the wrong certificate. But uh, like if I was to copy that, Let's see what we might get out of that. It could be a whole different thing. I'll have to close that so we can see the page. So URL shortener secure server.net. Get edge. Oh, or get Firefox so and so. Can edit forward. Looks like, oh, see it says about GoDaddy. Here we go. This could be just some kind of problem that's just come up recently with, I'm sure where to put this. Let's go ahead and put it in there for now. That's the wrong one. I want the one that said they moved. Yeah. What I'm thinking is all this probably, uh, it will make confuse me and I'll probably wish I had it in something about your URLs and stuff. DNS, day, DNS type A can't, and I, I learned how to set me up a DNS server a few months ago, and it was hard. Uh, can't forward to some link shortener website. Why am I unable to delete? Okay, so and so, so and so. That's just like. Yeah, you can run into all kinds of pains when you're running into forwarding. And that that's probably what it is, is they're doing like I'm doing. I'm forwarding my domain. Uh my domain names from, you know, there's I bought them at GoDaddy, but I'm not buying hosting from them, I'm hosting myself. So I'm forwarding to them to my server here in my room. And um they're probably using a hosting company, some some other hosting company is what I'm gonna guess from looking at all this. So um, I'm just gonna keep putting this in that folder for now. God dog it, why is the wrong folder keep coming up on top? Maybe I put something in it and I didn't realize it. Let's see if I did it. Nope, I didn't, I just wanted to come up on top. Okay, so now I had already went to the other two pages and the only reason I kept clicking on those links and, and I started down here at this one and I worked my way back up because I was trying to remember which one Trying to read them and see which one might have the, uh, con you know, the phone number on it. So, uh, <clears throat> and I saw, I couldn't hardly read it. I saw it right there, but I couldn't hardly read it because it's not formatting very well in Firefox. So, uh, see, that's the, the, these two pages don't do that. That's the other thing. Oh, that's stores.healthmart.com. That's one. That's not Laura's Pharmacy's domain. There we go. Yeah. And, uh, Okay, so let's go back to where we were. Okay, so laurasphormacy.com has most likely been forwarded. Let's see if it does it again. That's the link that uh, did that. Yep, still does that. What happened to the all that stuff I put on the end of it? Did I do it on the wrong one? No. Huh. 
Oh, there it is. It's all down here. Okay, it didn't show up up there, but it shows up down here. Okay. No, 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 no. Okay, so where's the uh, advanced? There we go. None of those links in there will actually show up as links. Yes, that's, uh, oh, it's in the wrong folder. There we go. So that's why it kept showing up like that. Okay, now will that make it back the way I wanted it? Yeah, there it is. There's another link. Okay. Okay. There, it made a separate brand new link is what it did. Now they're in a different order, but that's all right. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> so let's see what this one does. I say it's health mark, which is the, you know, they're like, a, you know, they join, they're part of health mark, this bigger company. So um, Health Mart is fine, their certificate's good, but the Laura's Pharmacy.com is not good. Yeah, okay. I don't know. Okay, so there we go. I'm gonna stop here, I won't uh, this video I may go ahead and upload for people's information. Uh, we'll, and uh, the uh, and me calling and order my medicine. I'm not gonna. I'll make a separate video, so I won't be uploading that. Okay. So uh, yeah, I was on desktop. Good. I just got thinking, what if I whole time I wasn't on the desktop when I thought I was. Okay. So uh, that's something to watch out for.